where you want, you know, yourself to. All right, I know what I'm getting. So I'm at Holston's in Bloomfield, New Jersey. This is my favorite ice cream shop, and I thought I would do this first episode here. I'm seated in the place where Tony Soprano was waiting for his family in the final scene of the entire series. Meadows Outside, Parallel Parking, and Don't Stop Believing is on the jukebox. And the reason I chose here is this is where my family and I would come as a kid, long before Tony Soprano ever sat here. And I've actually taken friends here, you know who you are. And I just, I'll never forget that moment when it cuts to black on Don't Stop. And it just basically, Hi. hey. Are you ready to order? Yes. What can I get you? Um, could I please get the Duster Sunday? Duster Sunday. what kind of ice cream do you want that? Chocolate chip mint and cookies and cream. Do you want that with hot fudge or chocolate syrup? It comes with the chocolate syrup? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. What do you think's better? I prefer mine with the hot fudge. With yeah, the I think that's a good idea. Yeah, with cream cherry? Yes, please. Anything and else? could you bring a little side of malt? Sure. Anything else? That's it. That sounds good. Do you want me to take that menu for you? Sure. Thanks so much. You're so it cuts to black, and he's in a paranoid headspace. A guy's walking into the bathroom over there, and I just remember feeling how genius that was where it lingers with you. This idea of, did he die? Is he just living his life in perpetual fear of the next move? Or was it a positive thing? Meadow walks through the door, the bell goes off, and it cuts to black. His family unit is complete. Oh, that looks awesome. Thank you. So this is the Duster Sunday. All right and the side of malt. Just hold the thought. I always read it, you know, when I went back and rewatched the show, there's a lot of setups leading to that moment that I think makes that play even differently. And for me personally, I just love this concept in film called residual effect. Mm. That is the lingering impression it leaves you with. This is a weird thing I like to do, but sprinkle a little malt on each bite that you have, so each bite has more ball. Knowing that it cuts to black, for me, I was just like, his life will always be this tumult. And sure, this isn't the production value of The Sopranos, right? But I'm not waiting for a development exec now to approve of what I have to say. But in the penultimate episode, I forget who's talking to him. And he says, when you get whacked, you never know. It's just blackout. 